old-fashioned invented tip. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and we're looking at the weight of paint. How do we calculate this on something like a metal fabrication? If this was going to be painted, how do you work out the weight of the paint? If you think to yourself, I'm watching you, mate, but I don't know why this is a thing. It's surely negligible. Well, pop on down to your local hardware store, mate, and pick up a can of paint on the shelf. That stuff's not light, and this is a pretty big assembly as well this bit of metal is i think it's 1.5 meters side to side so that's a big chunk of metal this weighs around 390 kilograms so uh this is no this is no small bit of kit and to paint all this that's a lot of paint that's required that's a lot of tins of heavy paint so assembly level you're going to do a shrink wrap i'm not going to jump into part level that would be taking the easy way out but we're going to do a shrink wrap at assembly level and uh, to set the shrink wrap up, I'm going to exclude a couple of parts here that either wouldn't be painted or would complicate the process. Namely, these three flanges here and this bearing in the middle. These are separate components. So uh, there's a gap between the flange and the plate here. That won't play nicely when it comes to calculating the weight of the paint. You'll see why in a bit. So I'm going to exclude these here. If these do get painted, we'll have to do those bits separately. That's fine. That That's acceptable. And this bit here. And also, I'm going to remove these holes because these probably wouldn't get painted, or if they did, the the internal face of these holes would be negligible. They're kind of less than 40 mil in diameter, so it's yeah, that's negligible. So I'm going to remove those by going into the features tab. This is Inventor 2019. If you've got an earlier version of Inventor, you might see a different dialog box, with, but all the settings will be there. They'll just be in different places. So I'm going to remove holes that are less than 45 mil in diameter. The rest of it I'm gonna keep just as it is. And then on the Create tab, I'm gonna go with a single composite feature. This one here is really important. You've gotta take this. If you, I'll, Well, I'll explain why, just take it for now. And then use Color Override, that doesn't matter. We're gonna untick that. And then the rest of it, just leave, as, leave it as it is. Hit Preview, and this is what we're gonna get. This is gonna be the painted finish. That's gonna be what receives paint. And then I'm gonna click OK. And then off it trots and it creates a separate inventor part file, right? We've got ourselves an IPT file where it's taken the entire assembly and it's just shrink wrapped it into a single part and then dumped it off into a separate environment. This is a one-to-one -one version of this. You can see it's exactly the same size. So what I need to do is take every single face and then offset it outwards to represent the paint both on the internal, external and internal faces. So I was speaking to Carl, and uh, Carl's a real, he's a real life engineer, you know, <laughs> he's a re real engineer. And he says that on these subsea vehicles, they you tend to use really quite thick paint. It's usually around three mil thick. There's a three mil thick layer of paint on the vehicle chassis. Uh, your mileage may vary, but I'm gonna go with three mil thick paint here. So how do we do this? Many different ways of doing this. This is the way I've come up with, or me and Carl came up with. We're going to go to Sculpt. You could Stitch, but we're going to go Sculpt, the Shrink Wrap, because that's currently a surface. This has got no mass right now. If you go to the eye properties of this, you'll see it's got uh, absolutely no mass. So we're going to Sculpt it into a solid, and you should see a green preview, providing that your Shrink Wrap's golden and it's all legit. It should work just fine. Click OK. It'll Sculpt your Shrink Wrap into a solid. Then, and this is the bit that creates the paint. You could do a Thicken. But I've had mixed results with that. So I'm instead going to do a shell. I'm going to shell shell the entire thing. Normally, you shell the internals. But we're going to go external, outside. It's going to take every face, and it's going to offset the face by 3 mil on both sides. Uh, providing that I change that to 3. <laughs> it does. So every single face is going to be offset by 3 mil. And that gives us this three mil layer of paint all the way around the uh, the part, which I guess is the assembly as well. Click OK, and then that there is your layer of paint. If you want to verify that this has actually worked, you can go to the View tab, go to a half section view, and then grab a flat face, drag, and you should see this here is a three mil thick layer of paint all the way around. You could take the original assembly and slot it into this cavity here. That's essentially what we've got now. But we need to make the paint material, and we need to get the density of paint. So I've had a look around the internet, and paint differs. The density of paint differs based on, the obviously, the manufacturer and the application. 
uh, ranging from like 0.7 grams per centimeters cubed all the way up to 1.3. So I'm going to kind of go for a middle ground and uh, I'm going to go for 0.88 grams per centimeters cubed. But whatever paint you're using, obviously you'll have to uh, go and look that up. So name, paint, got the physical tab. And then for the density, I'm going to go with 0.88 grams per centimeters cubed. You can change the uh, the units in here, go to set display units and you can change whatever the units you want to play with. But uh, that's created the paint. I'm not interested in what the paint looks like because I'm not actually going to apply it to the 3D model, the final design. It doesn't need to be there. This is purely to get the weight. I'm not interested in aesthetics. So we're going to select the drop down menu for material and then select paint. That's now set the model to be 0.88 grams per centimeter cubed. And what do you think this weighs? The original bit of metal was 390 kilograms. How much do you think that's added to the final design? Let's take a look. I properties, physical tab, 12 kilos, mate. There is 12 kilograms of paint on that bit of metal. Who knew? Who knew? That is a, uh, that's heavy, mate. 12 kilos. That's bloody heavy. And if you think about it, if that's 1.5 meters from there to there, if you were to paint all of this with three mils, I mean, three mils is quite thick. I mean, it's quite an extreme example, but that's heavy. And just to verify that this worked, if you if you think to yourself, I'm just I'm not sure, I'm not sure that's actually worked. Uh, I'm going to right click and copy this, go over to the assembly, paste this in, and then use an inventor's constraint so I can constrain the center point of the shrink wrap part to the center point of the assembly, and then just repeat the half section through the assembly, and you can see there that it is wrapped. It it has wrapped itself around that dark bit there is the three mil layer of paint. And that white bit there is the original assembly. So it, it has worked, genuinely, it has worked. Uh, and then we can drag this all the way through if you just want to verify that it has worked all the way around. There's the uh, the three mil layer of paint and there's the original model nicely tucked inside. So it's, uh, it has worked. It's all tickety-boo. It is all genuine. If you're still not sure, you can go to all of the parts in the assembly and then sort of turn them off. And then sort of undo and turn them back on, and you can you can see it is uh, it is legit. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the paint, mate. That's how you do it. That's how you create your layer of paint and work out the. Uh, I'm turning, I'm turn, oh yeah, you turn the section off and work out the weight of the paint. I wouldn't leave the model in, right? I wouldn't leave the shrink wrap in. Now that we know it's twelve point seven, was it twelve point seven? We can add that now to the to the overall weight of this assembly. So we're going to add the twelve point seven onto the 390 using a virtual part so you'd go into uh, assemble go to create create a virtual component call this paint click ok and then right click on the virtual component go to eye properties and then on the physical tab you can just override the mass and say this is 12.7 i think it was 12.7 i'm thinking 12.9 i think it's 12.7 uh, click apply and then that should now add itself onto the overall mass of the assembly it's now up to 403 kilos mate there you go that's how you work out the weight of paint by physically modeling it it's a, it's a nice little tip maybe different ways of doing it i would have preferred to have found a way of making the shrink wrapped part adaptive but um i couldn't figure it out in time uh, without it just messing things up and being a bit funky but uh, anyway i'm not going to go down that route there you go hopefully you enjoyed that if you did Hit the like button. YouTube loves good thumbs up and I need it for reassurance. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.